Hey, it's Victor Amadi here with Producer Realty. When it comes to inspections and repairs, here in South Carolina, currently there are three ways that you can write your contract. Now, the first way is repair procedures. In repair procedures, the buyer has a certain amount of time to do the inspections, make requests for repairs, and then the seller has a certain amount of time to respond to those requests. So let's just say the buyer has 10 days to do the inspections and make requests for repairs. And within those 10 days, the buyer has an inspector, inspects the property, makes a request for repairs. Now, in the contract, there are nine items that are considered seller paid repairs. Now, the buyer can ask for whatever they want to. However, the seller can stick to those nine items. And if they fix those nine items, the buyer has to proceed with the contract. If they say no to any one of those nine items, the buyer can terminate the contract get their earnest money back and walk away. Okay, and those nine items are the costs that are associated to fixing the heating systems, the air conditioning systems, the electrical systems, the plumbing systems, the water supply systems, the water waste systems, making those systems operable, making the roof free of leaks, address environmental concerns, and make the improvements structurally sound. Those are considered seller paid repairs. So if the seller fixes those things, buyer has to proceed with the contract. The if seller says no to any one of those items, the buyer can terminate the contract and get their earnest money back. Okay. The second way is the due diligence. In due diligence, the buyer can have the same 10 days to do their inspections. And within those 10 days, the buyer can make requests for repairs and negotiate the repairs with the seller or the buyer can decide to just proceed with the contract as is. Or the buyer can actually decide to terminate that contract by sending a notice of termination to the seller and they can walk away, get their earnest money back. Unless they attach a uh, termination fee to the contract, which they can just pay the termination fee, walk away from the contract, get the rest of their earnest money back and walk away. Okay. The third way is as is. As is basically means that the buyer is buying the property as is, regardless of the condition of the property. Now they can still have the same 10 days to do inspections on the property, but regardless of what the inspection says, that buyer is buying the property as is. Okay, so those are the three ways that you can write a, a contract here currently in South Carolina. And now that's gonna change come July, that we're moving to a strictly due diligence contract but right now, those are the three ways that you can write a contract here in South Carolina. So it's the repair procedures, due diligence, or as is. Let us know if we can help you. Have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.